Hello everyone and welcome back. So um, again, another live stream. I was being asked sort of was I doing one today? I'm gonna try and do one a week, like I said before. So I'll try and do maybe two videos and a live stream will be one of them. Um, this video is trying to base it around the the new video that I just launched um, which is in the description. So anybody logging on watching this video um, possibly not live, but you can obviously watch the rest of the video, drop me comments, um, drop me questions, and also things that you might want to see that I might be able to do, um, plastering ways. Um, but yeah, the Ragnar Child video that I just uploaded is in the description as well, so you'll not miss out on that. And I'm cutting coins in the background here, also, the link to that will be in the description so still sort of learning this live streaming trying to make it go a bit smoother and um, recently it's keeps going on on the red just like a red amber and green and that's to do with the, the output so i'm not sort of sure how to control that um but i'm sure i'll, I'll figure it out eventually that way so but yeah, in this video I also have an unboxing of the coin cutting tool that I'm using on this. You can see me using it now, which is quite a handy, handy thing. Um, hello everyone, just joined me now. Um, and I was also, also watching, wanting to talk about some of the, the questions sort of, and, and things we were chatting about. That, that sort of way. Yeah, so guys, um, sort of so people were saying that they don't really, they don't really rate Ragnai tools. Um, the first Ragnai tool I had was a bucket scoop, and I still have it. It's actually it's probably about to snap now, but I've had it for a good lot of years. Um, but like I was saying, it's good quality. It's better. I think it was probably only a fiver and it's much better than the cheaper versions that are um maybe only three pound four pound you would get um but the steel is better the handles better the weld on them is better so the regni bucket scoops are definitely definitely would recommend them um definitely would be worth buying and will last you at least would last you a year so it would be five six pound well spent and um, that being said the spear and jackson bucket scoop i still have um, and it to me it is the best bucket scoop i've had to date um, so like i say mo most people most plasters won't spend big money on a bucket scoop because they do know the abuse they'll get and um, maybe their labor will stand on it drop it beat it off things beat it with a hammer so do they do get abuse um that way and when you're scooping if, if you use a bucket scoop for scooping out onto the the bucket constant um you're putting a lot of pressure on the weld what's up Megal? mate um hope you're having a good good day and um, for all all the mothers watching happy mother's day as well so get that one out of the way i know in america it's a different date but uh, we're not in america so happy mother's day um but yeah so that sort of puts the the ragnar thing is um have had a couple of other trials and tools that will probably never make it on to the video um because to me my channel i'm trying to stay positive with everything and i don't want to be you know, companies may be fighting the tough trying to make quality tools and I don't want to be one running them down um, I'll certainly if I didn't like something I'm not going to come on and probably squeal about it you know um, this is actually the Ragnar tools being unboxed in the background and um, there's a guy Spex357 was saying I think he was saying about gloves um, I have wore gloves with this and it does fit but the bigger gloves yeah you probably won't fit um the handle is quite chunky 
Um, but this is a prototype, so the one that will come out will probably be a better handle again than the one I'm using. But I can't say much about that um, unless they drop me in one of them trials to test it out. So I can't, I can't crack on and keep on talking about the trial. I can only talk about the trial that I've used. Um, and this particular plaster and trial, um, I have been using it for a long time. It's took me a long time to break it in to where I'm happy with it skimming now. Um, it's still not not just as sweet as mother plaster trials, and um, needs a bit more sand cement work, and it will be ready for skimming. Um, do have some videos of me using this coming up. Um, a long time ago, you would have seen me from the same box using the corner trials. So I've been using this on and off as well from then, and it has been my main cement trial. So you guys know what way I like to work it. I like to always have two trials, a good, good skimming trial and a brand new floating trial that I'll always use for my render and we'll use for cleaning corners and the odd trial up and maybe if I want to shine a ceiling or a wall, I'll use my, my sort of new trial to polish that up and just try and break it in further. So I tend to find if you use it for satin cement and skim, the break in better. Um, so what I can say is about the steel in it is it's probably one of the stronger trials I've ever used for the fact of that it's took me so long so much wear to try and break it in ready for skin and um, so that might sound bad but if somebody's looking somebody's doing a lot of rendering that might be the trial to go for because it's it is brilliant with satin cement and um, like I said I haven't got it just so sweet yet from skin um, but sand cement, it's definitely it's going to be my sand cement tool for a long, long time. Um, d definitely feel that it is strong. It has, I think it has a, like an electric or a laser weld that don't have a, a rivet. And the the guy making it um, swears that that's stronger than a rivet. And I know some people may pick that up and think this looks like a cheap trial, but when you're using it, it definitely doesn't feel cheap. It feels like good strong steel and it's not going to break in your hand. Um, I do know they have cheaper trials which um, obviously you're going to be plastering. They're not going to last you very long day in day out. Um, but yeah, so Michael saying these corner trial, they are brilliant. So they are, they're very, very smooth. Not sure if it's to do with the rounded edges but they do just glide up and down the corners. Um, there's no turn with them. They don't dig in. There's a bit of flex with them as well. Um, I wouldn't be a guy that uses corner trials all the time, but certainly these are nice, nice corner trials. I do have Ox and I have some cheaper ones that were maybe only three, four pound, but and they're real wooden handles. Ones you have to actually bend them in by hand yourself so that they don't cut into the back. When you're chilling up, the back doesn't dig into your skin. Um, so that that sort of way, but um, yeah, j jumping back to what Specs three five seven was saying about gloves, I was kind of actually thinking of work gloves. I might might sort of sort of try and get a variety of different gloves, rubber gloves and sort of labour and handling gloves, and sort of maybe test them out and see what ones I think are best. You know, um, especially for plastering because. Like he was saying that the, the Mari Gold ones, the ones you do your dishes with, they were the ones everybody always got because they'd maybe last you more or less a full day, maybe two days. Um, we always used them for k especially when I was an apprentice. Um, never really bought them. My boss would have bought me some at the time. Um, but the problem with the rubber ones is, like he said, you would sweat in them, especially a warm day or a big hard day's craft your hands gonna sweat, you're gonna be soaking inside. Um the other problem I found with rubber gloves is that if it's cold and especially with carrying or even sand cement, um they they'll get nicked and get holes in them. And if carrying gets in to them and your hands sweating and it's cold, your hands will still sweat even though it's cold and they they will the 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 K-Rain can get in and it will burn holes in your hands, literally burn big holes in your if you recuts it'll 
tour then cuts up. They'll be massive by the end of the day. And the problem with the M gloves is you don't feel that until it's sort of damage is done. Where <coughs> pardon me. So whereas the other ma- manual handling gloves may be better that way, it may be less label to rip, but on the other way they're not as waterproof and water will get into them and the gloves I've been wearing recently it's not good to be wearing wet gloves and it's, it's not fun not fun times at all um, thanks Michael mate um, yeah I have a, a link in the description to all the sort of videos in the background well most of the videos in the background um, that was the render effect um, sorry the brick brick effect render sorry um, I've sort of two videos on that there, wee job. Um, but yeah, sort of wanted to talk about fancy, fancy work and all. Um, I'm definitely intending on doing some sort of, sort of high spec plastering in the future. Some real detailed things. I'm actually gonna sort of, if I get a bit of time, I'm gonna sort of play about and try and create. Probably what would be more like um, works of art than plastering, in some people's opinions. Um, sort of. If if it, don't get me wrong, if the video turns out rubbish, I'll never upload it. Like I'll just throw it in the bin. But if it turns out good, you will definitely be seeing it. Um, also, guy Edward, I think his name was, was saying about the the plaster and toolbox I made. Um, I'm also hopefully gonna remake that. Um, with more details. Um, with a bit more, sort of try and give measurements and stuff um, and then again I'm going to make it again I'm actually going to try and make that video twice one with more details and then I'm going to I don't want to say too much but I'm going to try and make a, even another version of it um, but that's that's down the line again so that way um, but yeah um, just sort of thanking everybody for the support as well um, Michael here and Murph was giving me a lot of support through the videos. He seems to be a sort of a very enthusiastic commenter, which is good. Um, so yeah, I think think I'm, I'm sort of wrapping this video up here shortly. Um, DMA plastering as well has been sort of keeping really posted with my videos and st- sort of dropped me in good positive comments. Like I said, trying to keep a positive channel, um, but. I do tend to only show tools that I use myself and would sort of recommend. Um, and if I have a real bad opinion on a tool, I'll just not have it on my channel. Simple as. Um, there's some videos of me using tools and they'll not be uploaded. They may, may have broke. Um, but uh, never never mind all that there. I'll keep, I'll keep the channel for the good tools. Um, sort of the good drills and stuff that I'm coming across um, or maybe even bargains if I'm getting good bargains I'll definitely share it with everyone if I sort of find a website or find some cheap tools that will last you a good time sort of weigh up your options with, with them tools but um, yeah so that's it guys sort of covered all the things I was wanting to do there um, and uh, sort of sorry about the voice again I've still got a bit of a bit of a cold so I'm hoping to get rid of that cold within the next couple of weeks as hopefully the, the better weather kicks in but um, if you didn't catch this live guys um, I'm sure you'll catch the next one next Sunday and um, may try and do them a wee bit earlier to see, see what happens and um, thanks for watching guys <laughs>